Welcome to the Monday Mycotoxin and Crop Report for September 4th, brought to you by Neogen, a world leader in food and animal safety solutions. This week's headlines. Tropically enhanced storms in the Southwest. Extreme heat grips the Central Plains. Severe storms in the Great Lakes. The USDA's August 29th Bulletin reports the remnants of Hurricane Hillary brought tropically charged storms to the southwest. Precipitation totals of 4 to 8 inches generated isolated flash floods in some areas as far north as the northern Rockies. A large swath of the nation from the northern plains to the Gulf Coast experienced higher than average temperatures this week, with parts of the central plains seeing readings over 10 degrees above average. Extreme drought conditions persist throughout these regions. Severe thunderstorms swept across the Great Lakes from Michigan to Pennsylvania, with around a dozen tornadoes reported across the region. The spring wheat harvest continues. 54% of spring wheat acres are harvested, 9 points behind the 5-year average. 37% are in good to excellent condition, 31 points behind last year. Barley is 61% harvested, 8 points behind the 5-year average. Oat acres are 82% harvested, 3 points behind the 5-year average. Corn development is highly variable within some fields. 88% of corn is in the dough stage, 2 points above the 5-year average. Nationally, 56% of corn is in good to excellent condition, 2 points above last year. Here are the states with the highest good to excellent ratings, as well as the states with the highest poor to very poor ratings. Thank you for viewing our Monday Mycotoxin and Crop Report. We appreciate your feedback and being part of our Mycotoxin Reporting Network. Feel free to contact us with questions or comments and sign up for our reports via the link in the description below. Have a safe and productive harvest season.